Hey there guys, today we'll be painting Woody Stump Whipple, the Halfling Ranger from Reaper Miniatures to the ultimate level standard. Let's open them up. First thing you want to do is grab a scalpel or other sharp blade and trim the casting line off the model. Make sure you take care and always cut away from yourself. Ultimate level miniatures come with a base and a little pot of gravel. Get yourself some super glue and stick him to his base. Sprinkle a bit of gravel on top and then dip it in salt to fill in any gaps. I've base coated the entire model here with Brion Blue using my airbrush, but you can do this by hand if you like. We'll do his base first to get the messy step out of the way. Take Shield Brown and paint the top of the base with this. Then, take an old brush and dip it in Driftwood Brown. Wipe most of the paint off on a tissue and then lightly dry brush this across the base to bring out the detail. Paint his clothing with a 50-50 mix of Brion Blue and Templar Blue, making sure you avoid the deepest recesses and let the base coat remain there to create shadows. Add more Templar Blue in and repeat, leaving some of the previous layer showing and working towards the edges. Repeat with Templar Blue on its own. Continue layering with a 50-50 mix of Templar Blue and Ashen Blue. Add more ash and blue to the mix and start to concentrate only on the edges and the most raised folds. Finish his clothes with a thin edge highlight of ash and blue.
Base coat all the metal areas on the model like his armour and sword with a mix of tarnished silver and shield brown with a dash of Brion blue mixed in. Layer up his metal parts with tarnished steel on its own, leaving the base coat showing in the shadows. Continue layering with a 50-50 mix of tarnished steel and polished silver, concentrating towards the upper surfaces where the light would catch and towards the sharp edges of his sword. Add a bit more polished silver into the previous mix and repeat, painting a thin line on the edge of the sword and his armour. Base coat his skin with rosy shadow. You may need two thin layers to go over the blue. Layer this up with rosy skin, allowing the base coat to remain where shadows fall, like his eyes, mouth, under his chin and between his toes. Finish his skin by using rosy highlight to paint the most prominent parts of his face, like his chin, nose and cheeks, and the tips of his toes. Base coat the areas that will be leather or wood with a 50-50 mix of shield brown and brion blue.
Layer this up with shield brown, except for the bow. Then mix 50-50 shield brown and driftwood brown together and layer up the leather again, focusing on the most prominent areas. Paint his bow with pure driftwood brown. Finish off by painting the feathers on his arrows with leather white. I've painted the edge of his base with shield brown and with that the model is finished. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check out our other videos and we will see you next time.